Hi guys, welcome back to another Cosplay Extreme. Uh, this time around, we are going to be working on this. Well, if you remember this, this is my Collector's Edition Fallout Vault Box. Inside this is this, which is the Pit Boy 3000. Now, what is a Pit Boy 3000 without a uh, Vault Boy suit? Or jumpsuit, whichever they call it. So, guess what we're doing this time around? I'm going to be showing you my sewing skills, which aren't all that good, but hey, I get stuff stuck together. So what are we doing? We're making our very own Vault Boy outfit. Okay, so here we sit. What we're going to need for this is obviously a sewing machine. This is an old Elna Supermatic. Tell you what, this thing is older than I am. And yeah, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It all depends. Uh, maybe I should do a Patreon so I can get a new damn sewing machine. We'll work on that. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is something fairly simple. So I've got a standard blue overall or coverall, as some of you guys call it. This is a two-piecer. So we have the top and we have the pants. Problem with this stuff is it sits a little bit too loose on me. So what are we going to do? We're going to have to modify this. So here's the plan. First off, I'm going to be removing the side pockets. Why? Because they're in my way. And for that, we're going to need a seam ripper. I'll show you a really cool trick on how to use a seam ripper, which is kind of, uh, I sort of like learnt it a year ago. But yeah, you might know it. Also, some chalk. Chalk, very important for this. A pair of scissors other materials, some vinyl. Why? Because if you look at this picture, you'll see that your vault dweller suit has leather cuffs. Why? Well, probably so that the pit boy doesn't slip. But hey, that's up to you. If you want to do that, don't do it. I am going to be doing it. I'm going to be using these. So we're going to be making some paper patterns for that as well. On that note, coming closer. Let's see what the hell I'm doing. We're gonna learn this together, work or no work. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna grab our uh, coverall and we are gonna turn it inside out, obviously, or outside in. Now, because these pockets are gonna be in my way, we are going to seam rip these suckers and get these boys out. Now, the way I like to do this is I first find my seam on the outside and just loosen it up. There we are. Now that we've got that section coming loose, right? I'm gonna take my ball bearing, which is that side of the seam ripper. As you can see, there's a little ball on the end of there. Get in there, and you just push it all the way down like that, and it cuts everything loose. So let me get these pockets off, and we will come back to you as soon as that is done. Righto, now that we've got the pockets taken off, you'll see that one of the, well, the pockets went into the seams. So what are we going to do there? We are just literally going to be, is this thing plugged in? Yes it is. I'm just going to restitch this seam up, uh, so that I can use it to make sure that this lot is stabilized. Here we go, just do a back stitch, just to seal it in there, and there we go. That should do, do enough for us. And our seam is back to what it was. How's that? Like magic, isn't it? Eh? Now that we've done that, we can then get down to actually marking what I want to do. So what do I want to do? I want to perform magic. Well, first of all, let's zip the sucker together. What are we going to do? For the collar, as you can see, we've got these pointy collars, which I don't want. So, in a perfect world, I want them straight. Like that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna seam rip this sucker and then fold it in and stitch that together. But that is a later problem. We're also gonna be adding some Velcro at the top here to give it a nice tidy finish all the way to the top. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to figure out what I'm gonna do. And what is that? We are gonna be cutting or stitching this together and this together. As you can see, I have stitched that hem. The reason for that is so that I can bring it in a little bit, but I still want some 
breathing space under the arm. So, first things first, I'm thinking of bringing it in about four, so to about there. And if we do the same on that side, four centimeters. But now, or should I rather keep it on this line over here? I think that's, looks pretty good. What is that? That's what? One and a half inches. There, there. That's, that's a half, isn't it? It's one and a half inches. Yeah, it depends on your body type. But also, it's be different yeah, one. take these measurements from you, from you, so that it fits you perfectly. Like every vault dweller gets their own body hugging, sexy blue vault suit. We're gonna go seven and some, seven centimeters in to there. What are we gonna do? We're gonna keep this line from, take this line from here and sort of do that with it. And that is gonna be our, our sort of modification that we're gonna be doing to this on either side. So am I gonna cut this off? No, I'm not. I'm actually gonna stitch this while it is still one garment. We've only got a single stitch line running through this whole garment. I'm gonna go back with a wide, wider zigzag stitch going the opposite way so that it gives us an extra measure of bondage. Woo and that is one side stitched. Now, it may not be as strong as surging or in my language, overlocking, but it's still gives you a pretty strong result because you have that you've basically double stitched one straight one zigzag so when you cut this off which we are going to be doing on the inside over there creating a an, an entirely new seam and that is the easiest way to actually change the size of something or, or bring something in because if you take all your stitching or your seams apart then it's cutting and measuring and hoping it all comes together correctly like this, it comes together all too well. Well, we hope so. We'll see. Let me do the other side and we will come back to you. Now that we've got this all sewed in, we're gonna be modifying the collars so we can get them nice and straight down and we lose this flappy bit over here. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be seam ripping all of this open and a little bit of the collar over there and all the way up the side. That way we can fold it in and stitch the mother together. Okay, so as you can see, we have seam ripped this open. Uh, we haven't gone all the way because it'll just be a pain in the ass to stitch it all together again. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that corner, push it in, and we will create a straight line there which runs all the way down to the seam over there. Now there's two ways you can do this. You could just run this edge through your sewing machine like that, or you can turn it inside out and stitch it on the inside. For me, I'm just going to run a stitch down the outside over here to stitch it together. And there you go, now we've got a nice straight collar line over there just by doing that. Uh, now we can do the same on this side, but first I am gonna stitch this together. Right, so now that we've got the uh, collars set up, we want to actually half the, or bring them down in size. Now instead of cutting everything, I'm just gonna fold these in, like that, and pin them. Now you can see I've already pinned that section. Right, now the reason for that is so that we can actually bring the actual height of the collar down slightly. With that pinned together, we're just gonna run that through the sewing machine and stitch that down. Okay, right, so now that we've got all this sorted out, uh, we're going to be adding some Velcro to the inside of the top collar because the zipper only goes so far and the dog is barking outside. I wonder what's going on out there. Right, so now we're going to get into actually doing the uh, striping, which runs up the front and around the collar of the top piece. Now, the easiest way that we're going to be doing that is we're going to be using this stuff. This is what they call hem square. 
It looks like that. Fairly simple stuff. Uh, we're just gonna run the strips and stitch them on as is. So here we go, this is how the vice binding is gonna be going down. It's pinned, we're gonna be stitching it down the side over there, obviously, and we've, I've cut it off at the top here so that I can just uh, put the ring in separately around the neck. Right, so now that we've got that done, let's go down and do this side. Right, so there's been a bit of a change in plan after checking out our, uh, our images. We've, I have come to the realization that that strip and the strip that goes around the collar are two different thicknesses or widths. So, for a quick fix, what I'm doing is I'm taking the existing ribbon and I'm just folding it in like that and pinning it down and we're going to be ironing that flat. Once that's ironed, we're going to be stitching this on. Okay, fantastic. There we go. Right, so it's been narrowed down as you can see that's just by folding it over and i've already pinned it to the collar now we can actually get to sewing this sucker on and see how that goes so coming closer and let's do that Righto, so what I've done now is I've taken another one of these and I've ironed them in. This is for the piece that goes around the waist. Now, what I did was I pulled on my pants, which is my Vault Tech pants, and I've measured or marked where my belt line will run. So I've got to be above that belt line. I then marked a mark over here that would tell me where I can stitch the sucker in. And how is the sucker going? It's going from there. To this seam line over here so a straight line I'm not nothing fancy just a straight 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 line okay fantastic so that is now that little piece which goes on over there we're gonna be doing the same on that side and then we're gonna throw ourselves the thick band across the thick band across the back there and then we basically done with all our sewing yeah and then it's just the gauntlets and we're done with this sucker so let me get these sewed on and we will come back as soon as it's finished. Numbers! That's what we need to put on now. Right, uh, what I've basically done here is we've gotten a piece of felt, thanks to my wife's suggestion, which we are going to be cutting out the numbers. Now, I've already drawn these up from pictures on the internet. And how are we going to fix that? This is double-sided facing, or as it's marked over here, hem webbing. Basically what this stuff does is you iron it on to one side, pull off the piece of plastic on the back, stick it down and iron the sucker down. And that should be strong enough to hold a piece of belt to my back. That said, we're going to cut these out. Catch you now. Right, so there we are. All the stitching has been done. And that is what our uh, bolt suit top looks like. All our lines and everything sewed on. Going around the back, you can see there's our uh, blue line, our yellow line down there. You can also see that I've done the numbers. They are stuck on with double-sided facing, ironed on. I'm sure you didn't want to see me ironing, that'd be kind of boring. And then I glued these suckers down with some fabric glue. Why? Because I was hot full of sewing. Carrying on the last and final bit of this whole endeavor yes we are now down to our vinyl pleather faux leather whatever you want to call this I went and I already made a paper template of my arm right now obviously when you make your paper template remember to add about an inch on either side otherwise it is going to be too small lessons learned I'm sure you guys have seen many tutorials on how to make a basic template of your arm so I'm not going to waste your time doing that
Right, so now that we've got that cut out, we first will stitch our seam across the top and the bottom. Then we'll stitch this together. Then we can put that onto our uh, top. But before we do that, I have got to do the other sides. Uh, what I've done now is I've gone and I've swapped my regular foot out for a leather working foot, which is a roller foot, allows your sewing machine to roll nicely along vinyl, and that's what it looks like. Also, I've swapped out for leather needles, as you can see it says leather over there, so that it can cut through the vinyl a lot easier and not jam up your machine. So with that said, let's get into this. And there we go, two cuffs. Uh, this is right and left. What I'm gonna be doing with these is instead of stitching them on or anything like that, I'm actually just gonna pull them up over my sleeves and see how they sit. That way I can take them off when I need to actually wash my cosplay. So, that's it. Maybe I should get dressed up to show you what this shiz looks like. See you in a bit. And there you go guys, this is my vault suit look for the nuclear winter. I hope you guys enjoyed this build. As you can see, I got to show off some of my sewing skills. Uh, not that they're great, but they're there. Uh, all the modifications were only done to the shirt, so the stripes have been put on. The cuffs, pit boy, numbers are on. So yes, I am the sole survivor. Now, the nice thing about something like this, you can see I have got a uh, belt or a canvas belt on which was found in the waist and also a camera bag this is actually an old uh, Rico old Rico flash bag which I've put a piece of leather on the back so I can wear it on my belt the nice part about this is you can put your stuffs in it when you're at a con yeah yeah it has a zipper is my elbow in and everything and talking about that let's talk about wasteland accessories yes you could go out in the wasteland and find it just about anything for instance I have a set of <laughs> hockey leggings which I can strap to my legs. Pretty awesome, pretty easy, just take them, spray them up and they look pretty funky. Also, ice hockey gear. Yes, this is my old ice hockey gear that I just went and I sprayed up, I found in the wastelands of my garage. So, so grab yourself some spray paint, some armor, some go to your thrift store, get yourself some sporting goods stuff and you can look like your favorite wasteland wanderer now if you like this please like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think do you think i sew like a girl or a boy hey everything in the comments down below also take a look at all the other videos that i've got up over here you can click on thank you so much for spending this time for me thank you for watching this video i know it was a effing long video and i am sorry and i'm gonna stop rambling and i'll see you in the next video Ah, I love the smell of nuclear fallout in the morning.